Hey YouTube, how's it going? I hope you're well. I've just got a video here showing you how to use MIDI within an amp sim or plugin within your DAW. Now um, I'm sure you find it's a little bit easier um, setting MIDI up, you know, things like wah pedals and whammy pedals and volume within a standalone plugin. But obviously, um, quite soon you're going to come up against, you know, wanting to use things like, say, wah within an actual, uh, you know, DAW session where you actually want to tape something. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. Now the example I've got here is uh, what I use mainly, which is Cubase Element. And uh, we're just going to add the, this is how you do it, so you just add a guitar track in the usual way. And uh, the one I'm using here is the, uh, the amp sim I'm going to use is Neural DSP Petrucci, because that's got a wah pedal within it, so obviously quite a common example of uh, using uh, a MIDI pedal will be, say, a wah model that you want to use within it. So we're just going to add the guitar track in there, we're just going to add the amp sim. So I'm just going to add it there. That's added. I think there's some distortion on this default one, so I'm just going to turn the gate on there. And uh, just make sure the monitor part there is lit up. And this is a key bit now, we're going to add the MIDI channel. So we're just going to add that in here. Uh, this is the bit where it's going to look out for MIDI being used for this uh, CC pedal. Now for this uh, particular plugin and for a MIDI controller, I'm actually using the Stomp IO by IK Multimedia. Uh, which is a fantastic piece of kit so uh, of course I've got that plugged in anyway so it's going to look out for that and uh, so you've got your MIDI channel open there you just want to turn the monitor on there so that's done now this is the key bit coming up you need to hit F3 within Cubase to open the mix console and we're going to look at the inputs and outputs for MIDI here so we we'll click on this third one along here this gets you the, uh, the MIDI channels this is the MIDI input at the moment it's set to all MIDI inputs, so it's looking for any MIDI signals that are coming in, which is absolutely fine, that's cool. You can see the uh, the actual uh, controller that I've got there, but we've got all MIDI inputs being looked for with the inputs, that's fine. Now this is the next key bit, which is important, you need to look at the output of MIDI. You need to select the amp sim or plugin is the output for MIDI, which is this one here. So just left click on that. And uh, that's done, so you've got your input MIDI and your output is looking for the, uh, the plugin itself. So we can just close the F3 down there. And uh, what we're going to do now is actually go to the effect itself. We're just going to active that effect. Just right click with this particular plugin to enable MIDI Learn. And I'm just going to move the pedal back and forth. So that's now set up. It's now looking at that wah effect, you know, being used with MIDI. That's all done for you. Obviously different amp sims and, and plugins have their own, you know, kind of settings for looking out for MIDI on there. Uh, with this one you've got your MIDI settings down here as well. So I'd say when you're looking how to do this stuff, look up the uh, the MIDI kind of settings for your DAW, you know, for your music session, you know, where, where you go to do that, to change the settings there, as I did for this one. And part two of it is looking up your MIDI stuff within your amp sim you need to look up where those things are located and where you change them and set them up so just think of a two-part procedure that's what i did to actually uh, you know find out how to do it for these two things the daw and the plugin and um, i think I'll, I'll do some more videos for different plugins as well to show you how you do the same thing for different amp sims as well but yeah thank you for listening i hope you found that helpful uh please please hit the subscribe button there's loads i've got hundreds of videos for kind of guitar uh, multi effects and now we're starting to do amp sim stuff and uh, i hope you found it helpful and please check out my tone shop as well i've got so much stuff in there and uh, see you later thank you for listening bye bye